All right, CNT 120, Chapter 2, Lab. The last podcast, we did a little mini crash course on getting diagrams.net up and running. Um, so before we dig into doing the diagram, a couple of reminders. I showed you the search feature. That is a huge help. Hint number two, if you search for this, the icon names or shape names that I'm using here, you should be able to find them pretty easily. Uh, and number three is a reminder, hey, these podcasts are helping you walk through. That's this That reminder is there for people that are just reading the directions. Okay, what we are going to do for this part is we're actually going to duplicate this diagram. Um, and a lot of people worry that you're duplicating what I have. And I, I always use the example of like, you know, if you're learning how to paint a picture, usually somebody that's showing you is like, do what I do. Um, that's kind of what you're doing here. You're doing what I do to learn how to use a program like this and do documentation, which is part of IT work. Um, and now you're you're aware of this tool and how to use it. Um, so now you have a tool in your back pocket to do some documentation. Okay, we actually have the Cisco router here and the work group switch here. Let's add the internet. So I'm going to do Cisco, and it usually goes by a cloud. So I'll do Cisco cloud and see what we come up with. We got a couple cloud shapes here. If I were to do Cisco internet, I think it comes up with the same. Uh, might not. Maybe I'll get rid of the Cisco and just do internet. It should come up with a cloud shape. There we go. That'll work. I'm going to drop that out there. I'll make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to start typing internet or I could do ISP. Either one will do the trick. And again, if that I, if that label is okay, great. If not, highlight it, do text and adjust that I might want it in the center. You know, if I really do want it in the center, that would allow me to do that. I'm going to connect the cloud to my router and you'll notice since I, I, uh, got rid of the uh, arrows and the zigzag earlier. That kind of keeps that as the default uh, format now, which is nice. I'm going to add my other work group switch. Well, I'm going to work smarter, not harder. I'm going to I highlight this work group switch here, and I'll either right-click copy or use Control-C. So I'm going to do Control-C, and then I'm going to do either right-click paste or I'll do Control-V, and that'll paste it out here. Oops, I'll do un Control-Z to get rid of that. I'll drag my switch over here and connect it up. Smarter, not harder. I need some IP phones and PCs. So let's do Cisco IP phone. Cisco IP phone. I'm going to grab that guy right there. And again, I have a couple of these, so let's get this formatted. I double clicked on it to, to type the name. So I'll do Cisco IP phone. And I have three of them, so highlight. Control C or right click copy, right click right click paste or control V, and I'll put the other phones out here. This makes my life a little quicker. Then I'll connect them up. Boom. 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 Now let's get a couple workstations in here. So we'll do Cisco PC. And I'm looking for there's workstation, Macintosh, there's PC. I'm going to put him out here. Let's get a label on him first. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. We'll do Cisco PC. And let's do a Control C, Control V for the next one, Control V for the next one. Yes. And then we'll connect these up. And by the way, in a business environment, this is very normal to hook the PC into the IP phone and then have the IP phone plug into the network. That is very, very normal. It minimizes the amount of cable connections needed. Um, I need some PCs over here on the left side, so I'm going to copy this guy, Control-C. I'll paste him over here, paste him over here, paste him over here, and I will connect these guys in. Now that we have a number of connections on the screen, this is a good time if you want to neaten things up to do so. You know, if you actually want to neaten this up to do this kind of thing, go for it. That's fine. Some people like to have everything in a line and organized. Um, that makes it a little bit easier to read for somebody that's, you know, trying to catch up with the documentation you're making. Because you might be putting names on here. You might be putting accounts on here. You might be putting IP addresses on here. You might be putting model numbers or serial numbers on here. So having things neat and organized makes it easier for somebody to read. That is worthwhile to do. All right, let's add the printer, file server, and access point in. So let's do Cisco printer, and I'll grab this guy. I'll plop him over here, and I will do a Cisco printer label, Cisco printer, 
and I will connect him in into the switch. Now if I start running out of room, I can do this. I can slide some things over this way. And I'll slide him in there. There we go. And then over here on the right, I need a Cisco access point. There he is. So I'll label him Cisco access point. And I will connect him in as well. And I need the Cisco file server. Cisco file server. And either one of those is fine. Cisco file server. And now I will connect him in. So I'll take a minute now and make sure I have all my pieces. If need be, maybe reorganize things to make things fit. But make sure I have it all. Make sure I have all my labels in. Um, this is where I take a minute and neaten things up or add extra information if I need it. You know, in real life, you'd probably be putting model numbers here, maybe even serial numbers, might be putting IP addresses and port numbers and stuff like that. So there might be a lot more information that's going on here in real life. We're just getting the basics on here to get started. Um, this is saving into your drive for you as you go. Uh, but we need to save this in a format so it can be submitted on D2L. So to do that, I'm going to export it as a JPEG. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to say File, Export as JPEG. Um, that is a file, a, a graphic file that D2L understands. It will allow you to load it and allow it to be seen on D2L very easily. So I'm going to do Export. Um, and I'm going to do Download. That way I have it for submission to D2L. So if I go to my Downloads folder, I will see here's my... Um, actually, there's my downloads what I'll get it yet. Here is my Chapter 2 Lab diagram. If I open it up, that should look just like what I was doing on the screen over there. This will be the file I submit to the Dropbox on D2L. All right, so there's the diagram part. The only thing left to do now is gather my two files, my text file from earlier. So let me go to, I'm going to drag this over to my Documents folder. So now I, if I go to my documents, I have my text file from earlier, and I have my diagram from earlier. I have those two that I need. There's the text file from earlier with the IP config and ping results in. And then here's the diagram I just got done doing. Those are the two files I'm going to submit to D2L. So you'll go to the Dropbox on D2L, Chapter 2 Lab Dropbox on D2L, add those two files in and submit, um, and you'll be done with Chapter 2 Lab.